Zabba the Circle here and I'm back with another video just to educate my people. Okay, so one of the main things that I've been encountering a lot is that people keep asking me, what do you have to do to become a furry? Like, what are the requirements and all this types of things? And I'm guessing it's kind of confusing because there's so many different aspects as to being a furry. Because, you know, you've got your artists who draw, you know, the anthro art or the feral art or whatever. And you've got your fursuiters and your role players and all these things. you got, like, you know, your bloggers and your vloggers. And, you know, you just got just people who just represent the fandom as a whole and like a lot of these things they are characteristics of our fandom but they're not requirements of our fandom if that makes sense a lot of people they talk about the furry fandom as if it's some sort of like club or initiation or something that you have to go through and that's not the case at all because that's not how fandoms are well I guess you could say that when it comes to the furry fandom it doesn't have any of these requirements because like for example if somebody they wants to be you know when something like Doctor Who or Supernatural or you know like anime and stuff like that with those fandoms there is like there's like a certain criteria of knowledge that you need to have about a specific topic because you know you can't say oh I love Doctor Who I've been watching it for X amount of times and then you know they ask you a question about that fandom and then you're like uh you know you go blank because they'll be like oh you're a poser blah 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 but the thing is in the furry fandom there are no posers in a given sense that is because one of the main things is if you don't consider yourself a furry then you're not a furry that's all there is to it are you a furry well do you want to be yes or no and that'll determine whether or not you are a furry because anyone who's in the fandom they want to be it's not like you know i was forced into this fandom or something like that it's all about your choice because that's how the furry lifestyle is. If you don't want to be a part of it, you don't have to be. And if you do, bada bing, bada boom, you're there. You don't have to fursuit. You don't have to draw art or any of these things like that. If you consider yourself a furry, then you are one. Of course, inside a fandom, there is a whole lot of different paths that you can take once you consider yourself a furry. You can, you know, become an artist or you can, you know, be a fursuiter or you can just not do any of those things and just be a furry. Just like the furry lifestyle and the fandom itself and just, you know, be a furry. Just, you know, romp around, be a fuss, but if somebody asks you, hey, are you a furry? Then, you know, you tell them yes or tell them no. It's all about, you know, what you want. And if they ask you, how do they become a furry? Just ask them a simple question. Do you like furries? Yes or no? And, you know, if you do, then, hey, that's the first step to becoming a furry is liking furries because, if you don't like furries, then why would you be in the fandom? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> An example of a furry is, of course, me. You know, I'm a fursuiter. Or anthropomorphic art is what you, you know, what you see back here behind me and all that stuff. Or, you know, I'll kind of I'll throw some on the screen a little bit just for some some flair. You know what I'm saying? You know, if, if that is, you know, aesthetically pleasing to you, then you can consider yourself a furry because it's, you know, a part of the fandom and that's something that you like. If you like any aspect to our fandom, then you can consider yourself a furry because, you know, with all these things, there's so many different criteria as to what you can like. And, you know, if you like some of that, then, hey, go ahead and do it because there is no definition as to how to be a furry. You just do it. If you want to be a furry, boom, you're a furry. It's not like there's no a list of things that you have to know. Like, to be a furry, you must do this, 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 and this. No, there is only one thing to be a furry, like what we do. Like, if you like any aspect of the furry fandom, then you can consider yourself a furry. Even if you don't like fursuiters, but you like art, you can still consider yourself a furry. If you like all these things, you don't even have to consider yourself a furry. You can like fursuiting, you can like the art, you can like the furry lifestyle, and still not consider yourself a furry. It's all according to what you want to do. If you consider it, then it is. If you don't, then you're not, you know? So yeah, that's just pretty much all what I wanted to touch up on is kind of clear that up a little bit, letting people know that, you know what I'm saying? It's all about what you feel on the inside. If that's what you want to do, then hey, that's what you want to do. Am I a furry? Yes, I am, because I want to be, because I choose to be. Are you a furry? I don't know. Answer that question yourself. But for right now, I'm going to go ahead and close this. So if you want to follow me for faster updates, I'll have link. I'll have... Ah! <laughs> Links posted down in the dibble below to my fur affinity. Viewer discretion is advised. There may be content on that site not suitable for all ages. I also have links to my Twitter, my Facebook fan page, as well as my Instagram, so follow me on that. 
Follow me on Twitter. Talk to me. I'll most likely respond. But as always, my name is Awa the Circle, and I'm out of here. <laughs>